One of the best feeders Moultrie offers is the Deer Feeder Elite. We're gonna start assembly today with the bottom half of the hopper. First step, I like to put the leg brackets in. One thing to keep in mind is that there's a, there's a hole on one end of the leg bracket. You always want those holes outside of the inserts, like so. Next step is to insert your leg, your leg poles. Right now, we're just gonna put two, two leg sections together and insert them into the bracket. One thing to keep in mind with your leg poles is to always have your holes in the leg poles facing out and lined up. That way, if you need to fasten them together for any reason, that's always available to you and insert it into the leg bracket. Again, holes to the outside. All right, after we've got three leg sections, flip it over. What I like to do here, why we keep it so short, is I like to get this up to a good working height so you don't have to stay bent over working on it all the time. After you got all that, insert the metal funnel. Line up the holes, insert your push pins. After we've, after we've inserted the funnel and all four push pins, next thing we need to do is put the top half of the hopper on. So the way we need to, way we need to do this is, is to put it on, line up the holes, sometimes these hoppers can be a little tough to snap together because of the tolerances are so tight. So once we've got one hole lined up, insert one bolt on the back, put your wing nut on, but do not tighten, leave some slack in it. Next thing we need to do, is come over to one of the sides Line up the hole, insert the bolt, put the wing nut on. Again, just start it, don't tighten it, leave a little slack in it. Then come to the other side, snap it in, line up the hole, insert the bolt, put the wing nut on. Again, don't tighten, leave a little slack in it. Now that you've got it held all the way around, take and snap this side in. Insert a bolt, put your wing nut on. You got, you got the hopper secured, insert your bolts, put your wing nuts on all the way around, tighten them until it's secure. And then we're gonna put our, put our kit on. To insert the kit, Line up the pins with the grooves, push it on, twist, and that's it. No tools or hardware required. Next thing we're gonna do, we'll put the lid on. To put the lid on, line up the handles with the insets on the hopper, seat it down, twist. This particular model that we're putting together today is the, the Moultrie Deer Feeder Elite. It's got three height options. The first option is five and a half feet, which is this option here, which is easy to access from the ground, easy to fill from the ground. And that's with two leg sections. The next option is the addition of one more leg section all the way around. One thing you want to do here is you want to make sure that you're doing this without feed in the hopper, an empty hopper. So this is your second option, which is seven feet tall. 
This is the option I like to run because it's easy access to your controls and you can still feel it from the ground. The last option is the addition of the last leg section. This is full height. This is eight feet to the top of the feeder. Gives you good access to the controller. Disadvantage is you can't feel it from the ground. After you've decided the height that you want to put your feeder at, whether it be five and a half, seven, or eight feet tall, you want to, they're optional, but they are included. You can use your feeder feet. To put the feeder feet on, you just, Turn it sideways, push it in, and twist until the, until the locking tab sticks out the hole at the bottom of the leg section. After you've got all your feet inserted, the three stakes that are included with the feeder are required. You just insert them into the holes on the outside of the feeder feet and drive them in with a hammer. Just like with all Moultrie quick lock feeders, no tools required and easy assembly. The Moultrie Deer Feeder Elite is the Cadillac of the Moultrie line and the most versatile feeder on the market.